Hi, and welcome to video tutorial number two on white cap visualizer customization. So, in the previous tutorial, we saw that there are many settings here that can be determined by the preferences file to be found here under user app data roaming sound spectrum white cap. Uh, as you can see, currently there are wave shapes changing all the time. Every second there is a two second transition, transitioning to a different wave shape. That is because in addition to these settings here under settings, there are also color schemes, wave shapes and backgrounds inside of which is not only a long list of active elements in each category which is rather long but also other parameters namely the color scheme slideshow interval and the color scheme transition time the slideshow interval right now is on off so the color scheme is remaining always the same however for wave shapes I chose that every five seconds there will be a transition of two seconds, which is why this is this keeps changing. If I want to have the same wave shape and not to have it cycle through all the active wave shapes according to the interval, then I have to define that in the preferences. In the preferences, we have background, slideshow, enable, and startup, which I defined as zero. The same for color scheme, slideshow, which I defined as zero. And for wave shape, we should also put that on zero if, if we have a favorite wave shape that we desire to be always active. And now, when we choose a wave shape, we can see slideshow off. Then this will be the wave shape. Now suppose we have a favorite wave shape and color scheme combination and background, of course. Let's take this one and we want to store that. We want to be able to pull that up or we want to switch between one combination and the other. The easiest way to do that, the least customizable but the easiest way, is to use the user presets, which is which are here. You press set and then one of the number buttons. Say let's take one for example. And now we have that. We have this combination set in user preset one. If for example we choose a different wave shape, let's take that one. Uh, or one looking very differently, so you can immediately tell the difference. And a different color scheme. Again, let's take something really, really different so that we can easily tell the difference. For example, how about we take this one and we store that combination in preset number two. Now, if we press the button 1 on the numpad, we get the first combination that we defined. Number 2 on the numpad switches us to this combination without having to go through the user interface. Now, these actual presets are stored in the same directory that I pointed you at before for the preference file. There is a subdirectory called scripts. Scripts has these user presets now. I deleted everything before just so that everything will be visible. So we have now user preset 1 and user preset 2. Now it's very important to realize that these are not text files. They look like text files. They can be opened in a text editor, but they are py files. py 
is short for Python files. If I open them, then they look like text. They are actually pure text, but the most important thing, if you've ever programmed Python, then you have to know that it's extremely important uh, to keep a good um, eye on the indentation because indentation in Python is essential. If you have a tab or a space somewhere which shouldn't be, it it just won't work. It's not like C or Java where you can have like a semicolon and then you can put a line feed or not and the program would work just the same. You can have the same program on one line, on the same line. But in, in Python it's essential, the line breaks and the spaces. That's why I advise you not to work if, you, if you're starting to work on scripts. Don't work with a text editor, but go and get yourself a Python editor. You can just browse uh, Python wiki editors that takes you to uh, uh, wiki.python.org and here you have the editors page. You have tons of editors here. Some of them are really small and minuscule download, minuscule install works for all the uh, all the operating systems and uh, it'll save you a lot of hassle, a lot of grief um, and also it will give you color coding for uh, syntax which will enable you to spot errors right away. Now white cap is coded in Python you don't have to know Python in order to customize it or to get into the engines uh, it helps, but you really don't have to. Let's look, for example, at user preset one. Okay, that's the file that I opened from here, from app data, roaming, sound spectrum, white cap scripts. When I created this in white cap, when I created this set one, it created the script. For example, if I take the same one and create set five, for example, you will see that now we have another preset here 5. So if we take a look here then we will see that there are just three commands here one for setting each of the following the color scheme, the wave shape and the background. You can disregard all the rest and just play with these parameters, the names of the color scheme, the wave shape and the background. For example Let's say that I really liked this first this first preset which had the wave shape. Uh, hmm, good question, I don't remember anymore. It had the wave shape avalanche. But let's say I want to change that. I want to create now a preset four with the same color scheme, but with AT field as the wave shape. AT field. I have to take a good look at how it's spelled out. A T and F capital. Let's just copy preset one. Change the name to user preset four and Change avalanche to AT field and save it. And now, when I open Python, if I press 1, I get preset 1 that I know. And if I press 4, same one, but AT field. This is AT field. So every user preset, I press 1, I press 2. Every user preset, takes me to a different place. However, this is very limited because I can only select one of these wave shapes, one of these color schemes, and one of these backgrounds at a time. I can't control any of the other settings using that kind of user preset script. I also cannot select um, various color schemes. 
say for example that I want to have this wave shape which is I think canyon or something and have the color schemes rotate within a different within uh, a certain category of color schemes that is not possible also this kind of user preset only works when the slideshows are off otherwise it will work for a moment and then it will keep rotating through the other color schemes or wave shapes for example now I turned on the slideshow for the color scheme and if I turn on the slideshow for the wave shape then you will see that if I press 1 I get the same result as before however in a moment it will change to something else because there you go the slideshow rotated it cycles through the other values so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can change that and how we can control more parameters thank you